Hi and welcome to a new tutorial and this, in this tutorial I want to show you how to set up American Truck Simulator on Linux. American Truck Simulator is a wonderful game um, and to set it up on Linux is fairly easy um, but in this setup we'll be setting it up with the um, Driving Force GT Logitech wheel and um, so I'll run through all the bits that you need to do that um, and to get a really good experience with the game. So the first thing we need a couple of pieces of software, extra software to um, before we start up the game. So nip over to github.com and we can download the LT wheel comp. This will give us the ability to set the wheel at 900 degrees so we get full rotation of the wheel. So we download this and then you just have to make and install that. If you're on Manjaro, you can install that using the the add and remove software. So that in, and you just search for it for the um, name LT Wheel. Wheel Conf. And there it pop up, and then you can just tick that and install that. And once that's installed, you need to fire up a terminal and put in this command, which is sudo lt wheel comp double dash wheel dfgt or whatever your wheel designation is. Double dash native mode, double dash range 900, double dash auto center zero, double dash ramp speed zero. So those are the things that I need to do every time that um, I boot up the computer. Um, there is a way of doing it, uh, but I haven't found out how to do that. And the next piece of software we need to download is the force feedback plugin, uh, which is from forum.sbssoft.com. I'll put a link in the description for both of these and you need to download the 2.5 zip and then that will come with instructions as well but I'll show you how to do that we don't install that until after we've started the game uh, for one piece because otherwise the game will crash uh, if we install this straight away so the first thing uh, we need to do now is we can, once we've downloaded the American Truck Simulator, um, we can press play. And once we've pressed play, um, we're going to that. So press play. And go. Oh. So the first thing you'll notice is that we have a new profile to make so um, we can do that we put our name in um, you can put whatever name you want to put in I'll just leave my name as that and then we can have a profile, profile picture it gives us I don't know why it gives us female first but there we go a male profile picture um, and then we can choose whatever profile picture we want and then we can choose a truck that we prefer for the Kenworth and then we can choose a logo and then we put in our company name which will be for me and then you can use Steam Cloud or not I'm not going to bother and then we can create now we have the choice of setting up either keyboard, mouse, steering or controllers. In that we're doing the logic, uh, the GET driving force uh, logic controller, we'll be using controllers. So then we go on to steering wheel and we're going to be using the real automatic for this one. But if you have a shift you can use that or sequential, you can use sequential for the uh, GET, uh, the driving force GET. Um, but I just prefer to do real automatic. 
The next thing we need to do is to get the um, steering um, right. Um, just double check this, that you go all the way across on the 900 rotation. Um, and so we go from left to right, and yes, that goes all the way to the stop points, and it centers perfect. That's good. Now with the acceleration, you choose gas. Now press down on the gas, but make sure that we have it centered. Press down, yep, that goes up down. But then you need to change the joy gas here to the brake, so press the brake pedal. It flips back, so let's center that again, and center that one. So try these again, so press your gas, yes that works, and press your brake, and that works. That's good. We don't have any of the other things, for um, need any of the other, um, these options, because um, the GT driving force doesn't uh, need it. So the next thing we need now is a shift up and a shift down. So press on the shift up, so it highlights that in orange, and just go shift up, so we go throw gear up. And then for the shift down, push the gear stick down, and we've got joy shift. We don't need that because we're not using the hate shifter, so we press next. Now we can finish the wizard. The first here, we need to have our headquarters selection. It's chosen Arizona, in Tucson, Arizona, but we don't need to do that. I'm going to choose up here, Wanachi, uh, which is in the new Washington DLC. You can choose anywhere you like, uh, but I shall confirm the selection for that. And do you want to walk? Do you want to walk through the tutorial? If you're new to this, you can, uh, but we're not going to do this for this tutorial. Let's say no and wait for it to move on. Now we have these cut through um, scenes. So we got Welcome to American Truck Simulator. Continue. At last you have a chance to experience your dream job driving a truck. Continue. Your own trust rotation company is now open for business but sadly your you lack the money to buy a truck, but so now you will have to work for other companies as a, as a driver for hire. So basically we need to just uh, do a first task, which is to load, safely deliver a load of furniture to home store dot in Monarchy. So press enter. We need to do this on time. Um, and. First of all, press escape, and we need to set up a few more options to make sure that everything's working all right. So uh, in the graphics, I've got it on high, but you can choose whatever your graphic card can take. In the audio, I'm gonna turn the music off because I don't want that at all. And I can also, with um, the release of 1.35, we can enable voice navigation now. So I'm going to turn that on. Um, I can enjoy in voice navigation. I'm going to use the, um, which one should I use? I'm going to use Doug, US. You can preview him. I'm going to use the voice for the speed warning. Time to hit the road. So if you're happy with that, move on. You can try the others out. In the gameplay, um, we can now set a few options here. Leave the preferred uh, job length. Uh, leave that at uh, the route advisor speed limit. Uh, we have the speed warning on. Uh, automatic park di parking dialogue is on for now. Um, heavy warning, heavy cargo warning screen should be enabled. These. Our settings are fine. A parking difficulty always select is good for beginners. Um, we can change that later on once we get a little bit better. And all these other settings will be fine. Well, um, time zones. I'm going to put it on full info because I like that. Uh, show the cutscenes. Yep, yeah, that. 
We've already set the transmission type. Here in auto center is on. Um, these are on. Now, if you want to make it really difficult, we can change the truck st uh, stability, the trailer stability, and the suspension stiffness. So I'm going to turn all those down. That means I have to be more careful when I'm driving. But if you want, you can have those up. But I would recommend turning them right down. It makes it a bit more fun. Um, I'm going to also put on the automatic retarder. Because um, I enjoy just driving automatic anyway. Um, doing that. But if you want to have the manual option, just don't tick that. Um, now the cruise control speed uh, grid step will keep that at five kilometers or miles per hour and the tolerance I want to set that to zero um, for the smart cruise control this will mean that once you go over the speed limit um, as you're going down a hill it will put on the retarder automatically for you at, at that tolerance so if you say over five miles an hour um, then once you if you're going say like 50 once you hit 55 the retarder would kick in but um, I want it to kick in straight away um, we want steering camera rotation that's as you rotate the wheel the camera will move with you from left to right so good so use your English in the region that you want I'm going to keep it all with the US, but I'm going to only change it to Celsius because that's what I'm used to. But all, all the other US um, measurements is fine. Now we're going to map our keys and our buttons. Um, our buttons, basically, we want to map uh, to our steering wheel. Um, so all the, the ones that I found most useful uh, are the ones that I'm going to map. So I'm just going to whiz through those and you can map your ones to that or if you've got more um, buttons you can map more to whatever you prefer so first of all going to all this is fine fine right so start engine start um, parking brake Harder increase and decrease. Don't need that because I'm doing automatic. Turn left indicator and turn right indicator. Hazard warning. I'm going to put that on. Uh, light modes. I'm not going to use high beam. I never use high beam anyway. So, um, the horn. I'm just going to map the air horn. Back to the on. and the wipers I map that as well and also the cruise control and speed increase and the speed decrease of the cruise control and the cruise control for zoom which is important um, then we want the dashboard display mode and map mode Display mode, I'm going to map to that one. And map mode. And the next one is the HUD controls. And on the advisor next page, map to. And let's hit on that one. And the next interior camera. I'm going to map to one and also want the lean out ca camera to map to that button. All the other cameras are fine. Then we want interior look right and look left. So interior look right, that one, and interior look left. Now just a couple more and to activate use on and 
trailer detach attach and use that one and that should be I believe fine all the other um, keys will be fine to use this particular setup so, so then nip onto controls to make sure that's all been all the force feedback is fine so to begin with we won't have force feedback for the first job until we've um, got our first garage and then we can put feedback on the next job. everything's fine there so that's it so we're good to go now uh, so we're good to make our first drop and our drive and get our first garage go start your engines okay here we go put it into gear and off we go. It feels really weird driving without force feedback, so um, it's sort of um, a bit. This is tight, very tight. I burst that a little bit. I'm going to put on the um, side, be a bit better. To gear and really really tight that was that and we should be good to get out okay and see what's coming go this is turn yeah, left no, no. Right, okay, we're off on our way. Change to speed. And we've not got far to go, so what have we got? Zero miles to go. I love this game, it's really, really relaxing. Helps me to just wind down. Get ready to turn right. And we're going to home store. And turn right. Here we are. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Let me in, buddy. Finally, we are here. And wait for the gate to open. Not all the um, drop-offs have gates, so... I do like the gate. So press the joy back or enter to choose your delivery. Well, we're going to have a... I think we can have the hard one or the easy one. I would say let's go for the easy one to begin with. And so I've done that. And then just need to park that up where you get indicated. Duck. Oh crap. Back, back. Hopefully we didn't damage the trailer. This is not a very good start. Never mind. And uh, oh, back up a bit. We've missed that. Just stop when it blinks green like that. You can stop. And then back and brake on and turn off. And there we are. And then just press um, your trailer detach. I'll map that to L3. And that's your first delivery done. Continue. Now we can see our first headquarters. This is our headquarters. Pretty basic garage. 
may not be much but it's a start unfortunately you haven't got anything to park there yet so there are no trucks in sight once you've earned enough money and brought a truck you will be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here good luck so now we've done the cutscene and we go to drive we can't um, we can now turn off the game and on the sidebar here we the American Truck Center right click go down to properties and then local farm and browse local farm and you will come up with this dialogue and you should go into your bin folder and then the Linux X4 and in here you want to paste your um, downloaded force feedback plugin so wherever you've done that um, put that in. yes it is so I've downloaded it I've extracted the files and there they are all the files and then you just pull that into this folder here and that should be that turn those off close that and now you should have force feedback and we play again so when we start up to the scene and now it has a request to advance the SK SDK features detected so this screen will always come up and that just shows you that it is installed and now we can you on our game so in the next video I shall next um, we shall start going through the career mode and to see how that goes and uh, we'll be getting on with deliveries for real so until then I shall say ta for now and see you. Bye.